In the midst of many uncertainties as to when Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, will call off its strike, just rolled over by 12 weeks. Some young candidates are already on the queue at various jump accredited centers across Nigeria, making another frantic attempt to gain admission to these public universities. One of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board accredited examination centers in the heart of Abelkuta and Tuesday, May 10 is the fifth day into the examination. Parents, guardians and caregivers were seen standing few meters away from the main hall of the examination, waiting for their children or wards to finish the examination, a measure put in place by JAMB to prevent untoward practices. The jam, jam exam, and uh, I think today is um, the third day, if, uh, if I'm not making a mistake. Uh, based on my observation, um, it's, it has been okay. The exam is, um, is okay. You can see the environment is quiet, and um, um, there is no issue. There is no toggery, there is no problem, and um, I think everything is going on well. Although cameras were not allowed into the examination hall, likewise, telephone gadgets and other appliances, but a peep into the examination hall gave a clue to a well-organized examination with zero tolerance for malpractices. Supervisor for Center One. So how's it? Now they handle it. It's fine. Everything is everything is going on well. No problem. Compared we are good. With the academic staff union of universities, ASU extending its three months old strike by 12 weeks. And this may likely affect 2022-2023 admission as JAMB as time frame with the result only valid for one academic session. Seriously, I don't know. Maybe the government, they know better. That is why they allow the exams. They should just please raise the strike so that students can go back to school. It's really not helping. We are growing old. I don't understand. Like seriously, I don't understand. All I just know is that I can see a lot of people coming in and I'm very sure if they are not working, they won't be here. That um, every member of the community, the families and everybody, they should push the government into doing the right thing. Because if they don't, like I said when I was a student, I lost two years to strike. The coming words, these students too, they will still undergo that and we don't know when it will end. Ayomide Labulo, a lecturer at one of the federal universities, and he said federal government needs to listen to the cry of striking lecturers as the strike looks unending. The, way, the only way out now is for government to listen to us. As you can see, the strike has been rolled over for another 12 weeks. We have to uh, go to the table and sort this out. I don't think we are ready to, you know, to bend. We all know. We are also parents. Some of our, of our senior colleagues, they have kids in the universities. They have kids in the in polytechnic that they have to pay. And another weapon, you know, is not new. What the federal government does is that whenever us go on strike, as well as an as, as a, as a organization, whenever we go on strike, you know, they resort to you know, stopping our salaries and the rest. And, and as you all know, we are, we are, we are used to that. Bumi Adigun, OGTV News.